What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today I want to talk about some Mac rumors that we're hearing ahead of WWDC 2018. I've talked a lot about iOS 12 and what we can expect to see there, but macOS is also going to be seeing some upgrades. We have a new rumor, we have a possible name for macOS 10.14, and the MacBook Pro could be getting a refresh. The rumors for anything outside of iOS 12 this year have actually been largely absent. Up until now, we really have not heard anything at all for macOS 10.14, uh, which is weird because usually you hear something, and of course not that we're only about a week and a half away from WWDC, I have a feeling that, that the floodgates are going to open in the next week and we're going to be learning a lot of details, hopefully about iOS 12 ahead of its launch, and for macOS, watchOS, and tvOS, the new versions of that as well, in addition to any hardware Apple could be introducing. So just recently on Daring Fireball, John Gruber there shared some information in a very like nonchalant, casual way. Uh, he was writing about the App Store on iOS 11 and how he really likes the design of that. Uh, I agree, I really like the design of the iOS 11 App Store as well, and mentions the next month which would be June at WWDC, that the Mac App Store will be getting the same treatment, meaning the Mac App Store on Mac OS 10.14 is going to be getting a redesign just like iOS 11 got last year. And the App Store looking pretty doesn't just have aesthetic value, it actually has serious economic value as well. I've read some insane stats and data that people have studied that the App Store in iOS 11 has made sales go through the roof. So if Apple brings that to the Mac, I would assume the same trends to then happen on the Mac App Store because the Mac App Store has been in a really weird, skeuomorphic but flat place for years now, and it just feels like Apple and the team there for the Mac App Store have just largely abandoned the project. I'm sure a lot of resources were pulled to design the iOS 11 App Store, but that doesn't mean that the Mac App Store is not very valuable as well. So I cannot wait to see what Apple's been working on. I mocked this up, and I think this could look really good if it was brought to the Mac. Following that, Mac Rumors published an article over on their website talking about some possible names for Mac OS 10.14. Apple has apparently filed for trademarks in both the Philippines and in Cambodia. And the four names filed in the Philippines are Mojave, Sequoia, Sonoma, and Ventura. And then Cambodia was just Mojave alone. MacRumors notes here that because Apple filed for Mojave in both the Philippines and Cambodia, that that is probably the most likely name for the next version of Mac OS 10.14, but there's always the chance that it could be something else as well. I think the landscape of the Mojave Desert is really good looking. I actually don't know if the wallpapers in our iOS 12 concept are from the Mojave Desert, but the landscape is beautiful there. You have the stark blue sky in, in competition basically with like the yellow sand and the desert. Landscape just looks really great. I could totally see this image from the Mac Rumors wallpaper making an absolutely amazing Mac OS 10.14 wallpaper because I don't know, the mountain range thing has been cool. It's been fun, uh, but personally I am ready for something a little bit different. Let me know where you would like Mac OS to go in the future if there's any landscape or area of the world that you think would look really great. I have no idea how Mac Rumors found these filings. Somehow I guess they were just bored and they found some trademark filings in Cambodia and the Philippines. Uh, and since Mojave is registered in both, it is probably the most likely option. But of course we won't know just yet. This isn't technically a rumor, but some evidence indicates that this is the direction Apple could be going in. I actually looked up some other images and the more I look at this, the more I want this to become a reality. I think this would look so good as the Mac desktop. Basically that's all we know right now about Mac OS 10.4 from a software perspective, and I wasn't personally expecting to see new hardware at WWDC in regards to new Macs. However, recent article from the Mac Observer notes that on Apple's website, if you try to buy the 13-inch MacBook Pro without a touch bar, it's not shipping until June 6th. And you might be saying, okay, maybe the production is just slow. Maybe they ran out of these MacBooks and they're going to be restocked on June 6th. But actually, if you look at past and historical, not only articles, but just what Apple has done, pretty much every time they're about to update or refresh something at WWDC, this exact same pattern happens. The ship date will go out to either like the day of WWDC or a few days after. So according to this, maybe the 13 inch non-touch bar MacBook Pro gets an update, but then that'd be really weird for Apple just to release one kind of niche MacBook Pro update rather than updating the entire line. Because a lot of Macs, the iMac, MacBook Pro, MacBook, I think MacBook Air as well, were all updated a year ago at WWDC 2017. Historically, they would be due. We just haven't heard any rumors to suggest that. And this is the only evidence that we have that any Macs will be getting an upgrade. And right now, it's just the 13 inch MacBook Pro without a touch bar. All right, as of right now, that is all the news we have for WWDC. As I mentioned earlier, I have a feeling we'll be hearing about more leaks and rumors within the next week just because WWDC is on June 4th. It is less than two weeks away, and um, I'm getting more excited.
posted every single day. Let me know your thoughts on all this new information down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed watching, if you learned something new, make sure to drop a like, that'd be incredible. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos on Mac OS and iOS 12 in the future. If you'd like to go the extra mile and help support the channel, I would really appreciate it. You can go over to patreon.com slash update and donate there. Your support there has been incredible. Or go over to shop.iupdateos.com and buy a t-shirt. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I will talk to you in my next video.